Hello, my name is Cheryl Sibby. I'm the Assistant Vice President of Hudson Regional Hospital and welcome to our Hudson Regional Podcast. Sitting with me is Dr. Oka Badeju, orthopedic surgeon. Thanks welcome, for having doctor. me. Of course, you're welcome. First of all, may I call you Dr. Bo? Absolutely. Excellent. Please tell us a little bit about your background and your educational experience. Absolutely. So I was born in Brooklyn. I was very active throughout my early education. I took courses throughout the city. So I went to Brown University for undergrad. Uh, I did very well at Brown. I ended up going to Johns Hopkins for med school. Uh, after four years at Hopkins, I did my residency at Washington University in St. Louis, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the best orthopedic programs within the U.S. Um, while I was doing residency, I noted that I, I liked surgical fields that were flat, that were controlled, and I like uh, things that are sensitive, a little more delicate, that require a lot of concentration. That naturally led me to spine surgery. Um, so I did my fellowship at University of Pittsburgh in spine surgery. Uh, I completed my fellowship in 2008, and I've been in practice ever since. Uh, the main focus of my practice is degenerative spine. So I do a lot of work in both uh, the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. But the main goal is to get my patients as well as possible. Please t explain to us a little bit about the degenerative process. Exactly what does that mean? Uh, so most people actually think pain develops from trauma. However, the majority of patients actually have pain that develops over time. So degenerative pain is pain that develops as our bodies age and we start developing herniations, bone spurs, start having pain in our necks and our backs. It's my job to make the correct diagnosis as to what the source is and come up with the proper treatment. And explain to us a little bit more about the difference between traditional surgery and robotic surgery and what kind of special kind of training do you need to have just to operate the robot? So during my training, uh, most of what we did was traditional. We did a lot of open surgery. You had to use your eyes, your hands, tactile feel, and that determined your screw path and your decompressions. So the way the robot works is it gives us a little more accuracy, a lot more accuracy actually, in terms of where we place our screws. So uh, to get a little more technical, uh, our patients get pre-op imaging, they'll get a CAT scan, and then what we do is intra-op, we marry the CAT scan to fluoroscopic imaging, and we have kind of a predetermined path as to where the screw should go based on the patient's anatomy. It's very individualized because every person's anatomy is unique. And if each person gets a CAT scan beforehand, now this robot gives us a lot more accuracy for, for that particular patient. Think of it more as a robotic arm that gives you the trajectory of your screw and you're still using all your other skills that you've acquired over the years to make sure the screw goes in the right, in the right place. What's the difference in the recovery period? Because I think that's very important for our clients to know. Absolutely. Uh, so because of the accuracy with screw placement with a robot, our incisions can be smaller. Uh, if, if we're doing an open decompression, uh, we don't have to strip off as much muscle. The robot also allows us to do more minimally invasive procedures where we can make tiny incisions and go through uh, more controlled access points to get the screws in place. So speaking of some technology that's coming up, I hear there's some artificial intelligence for robotics. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So as you know, technology constantly advances. On the horizon, there's now artificial intelligence, which actually allows us to wear specialized goggles where when looking at the patient on the field, we can actually see the path that the screw should begin and the screw should actually go. It actually looks more like a video game in our in our eyes. Mm -hmm. And it's incredible that you can see uh, lights and circles and all these points of, uh, of reference as you're looking directly at the patient. And as that technology evolves, that'll give us yet another point of accuracy, of speed, and advancing in terms of how we do our spine surgeries. Dr. Bo, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how long you've been here and kind of compare us to other hospitals that you had affiliation with? Absolutely. Uh, I consider myself at this point a seasoned veteran. Uh, I've been in practice now uh, for 14, 15 years. And uh, so I've seen how different hospitals function. Um, I've seen which hospitals place emphasis on different things. And no hospital emphasizes spine and technology the way Hudson does. Uh, they always ask what technology is out there what can we do to make your job better, easier, make you more efficient? Uh, so Hudson has all the advanced robotics. Um, there's new technology on the way. Hudson's always aware of technology as it comes out and they make sure we have it in our hands. I see Hudson at all the meetings I go to, which is very impressive. Uh, local meetings, national meetings, Hudson always has a presence there. And everywhere I go, I make sure everyone knows the number one hospital for spine in this region, if not the country, is Hudson Regional Hospital. Uh, other hospitals feel uh, maybe too bureaucratic, maybe too big. Uh, they tend not to give orthopedics and spine uh, the emphasis that I, I believe it needs. And Hudson Regional has consistently, from inception, uh, placed emphasis on spine, on orthopedics, on what we need to be better. 
and there's a direct line of communication. And I always feel if ever there's a need, I can go directly to the, the, the main powers to say, hey, I want to be better at my job and this is what I need. And it's, it's a special place. And I feel honored and privileged to work here every day. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, what's next because it's been a wonderful ride. Thank you so much, Dr. Bo. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please visit our website for future podcasts.